In today's video we're going to be jumping into some more Dragon's Dogma 2 and this time I'm going to be showing you the two very best hammers in the game, both of which are absolutely ideal for this class as they have very high strength as well as absolutely massive amounts of knockdown. This is going to be your lightning hammer Cyclopean Thunder and the awesome fire hammer called Cinder Spine. Absolutely perfect for any budding warrior that wants to start some trouble and make sure they're going to finish it as well. Now one thing you should know, you will have to be a little bit further on in the game in order to get hold of these because you're going to need to have made it all the way down to the desert region and I'll be starting you off at Back Batol. From there you're going to need to make it even further down the map and this time you're going to be heading toward Drabnir's Grotto which you'll need to make your way through in order to get yourself into the kind of final areas as you'll be heading over to the start of Agamemnon Volcanic Island. Now this campsite right here is absolutely perfect as a marker as it's very close to the cave that you're going to be needing to go into which is going to be the mountain base cave just here. As you can see it's just over on the right there the fireplace and you're going to head over to here and this is going to be the cave you want to enter in. Now there will be a few other things that you can obtain and grab as you're making your way through this cave but for the purpose of this video I'm just going to kind of fast track you in order to show you exactly where these weapons are. Now as this one's cinder spine there will be a lot of enemies that are fire based within this cave. Having a mage or a sulk on your side works absolutely amazing especially if they've got some kind of ice spells on them. Keep making your way through the tunnel, be careful of anyone like this as they can explode and give you a really bad day. But like I said earlier, there are a few areas that you might want to take a little look at to see if there's anything tasty in it. Keep making your way just up this way of the cave and when you head outside you're going to see another area that you can scale. When you look across, just over there is going to be the chest you're after. Now if you're lucky you might have a class that will be able to get hold of this, but if not you're just going to make your way down this tunnel here. Keep traversing up this way. There were a few enemies here that I've already had to clear out, so be a little bit more mindful. Then when you get to here you're going to turn round, you're going to want to go up this tunnel entrance here. Keep making your way all the way to the top and then chuck a little right, make your way out and then make a run and dash across this little jump. Don't worry it's not quite high enough to hurt you, although I can't say exactly the same for your pawns as I did have them fall off the first time. But lo and behold, you'll be greeted with this amazing hammer, probably my favourite one in the game, and that's going to be the cinder spine. Now for the Cyclopean Thunder, you can actually get hold of this very easy, because where you were a minute ago, you're then going to proceed to the Volcanic Island Camp, which is just a little ways up the road from where you were. Once there, you're going to want to make your way just at this way, just up here, as there'll be a whole bunch of paths that you can take. You're going to want to take the one on the right and then make sure you take the top half of that. Now there are quite a few enemies here so make sure you take them out and there's some harpies and I think there may have even been a griffin flying around somewhere. Just work your way over this way and when you see this long stone pillar here going upwards this is going to be the path you want to take. Once you get to the top you're going to be greeted by this big stone structure just here and I tried to get on top of it for ages by jumping on the stones in front of it but you are about one millimeter too short. So instead you're going to go over to the left, climb up the green rock facing, make your way all the way around and then you should be able to make this jump just here very easily. Then just keep going as I show here and the chest will be at the end with the hammer you're after this absolutely awesome lightning one, the Cyclopean Thunder. These hammers are a lot of fun to use, the best ones currently in the game I believe, and even not upgraded, they help dealing with all of the enemies because of just how much damage and how much knockdown value they've got on them. Right, let me know in the comments which class you're enjoying most, I've got to say Warrior is my pick at the moment, but as always, there'll be a lot more content in the way from me. Full Things Gaming, take care, I'll see you on the next day.